Okay, we're holding over here. The Memchez Dvarm Shetor Nikos Ben. No seal for Ol Chavero. One who carries the burden of another. Meaning, you feel for another. You feel another person's pain. And if you can help another person, that's no seal for Ol Chavero. I'm not sure if he has to be aware of it. If you're not with Chavero, then you don't feel his, you don't feel you don't carry his his burden. It's interesting, Mr. Glick's not here yet. When he was a little bit younger, half a day he would spend helping people out. And he was on initially his office at 589 Fifth Avenue. Going to his office, people coming to see him all day, stuck at problems and you know, phone calls. And he said, Busy with, half a day I'm busy with this. Three people think I'm busy with my business. I'm busy with this all day long, you know, helping people. People can ask me for advice, and people with financial needs, whatever, whatever it may be. But he had a certain ability, Mr. Glick, that when he would speak to a person, he made the person feel that their problem was his problem. He had that ability when he would speak to them. And as a result of that, he made the person's problem lighter. It wasn't because he was made them feel he was carrying their pl problem together with them. I remember, he had that special ability, tremendous, trem very you know, it's it's a gift. But of course, it's it's connected to the person's chesed of how he does chesed also. That's why he's such a good salesman also. You know, if I could afford it, I'd buy it myself. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so I think you should buy it. Machriel kapschus. Giving a person a benefit of doubt. That's interesting. Rashi says, Shadon's Chavil Kapsus. This is one of Yudchez Tvarm Shator Niknes Ben. Why? Why is this so important? Now, how did, what, what are we learning? Where do we learn that you have an obligation to give your fellow the benefit of doubt? Which is down. Tzedek Kishbun Ami Right? You should judge your fellow with Tzedek in, with, in a just way. So it's interesting. We say Elokim Nitzav Das Kel. Any time a, a, a panel convenes to pass judgment, Hakadosh Baruch was there. Correct. He's part of the right part of part of the, the verdict. When they're about to give the verdict, Hashem gives them the clarity. But they have to be. He's only there if they meet all the criteria of what a bezdin is. If they're corrupt. He's not there. El Kim Nidas, if it's an Adas Kale, El Kim Nidas, Nitzov. God is associated with Adas Kale. So if they meet the criteria, criteria of what Adas Kale is, he's there. But if not, he's not there. I don't know if you listened to last week's CD, I mentioned, I just saw it recently. The Vilna Gong says, What did you serve? What was he serve? What did he advise Moshe Rabbeinu? What was his criticism of Moshe Rabbeinu? It says, El Kim Nitzov Das Kale. He says, if you adjudicate every case, you're not going to have a Lukim Nitzav. But if you have Dayonin, if you have three judges, why? He says, if you have two people coming with a claim against one another, one is wrong, one is lying. So if one is lying, so based on the Pasuk, Maureen quotes the Pasuk, that, that within God's proximity, there's no evil, there's no Sheker. Shek, God has no relevance to Sheker. He stays away from it. So therefore, how did how could it say? How do you reconcile? It says Kim Nitzav Das Kel. If God's but Das Kel, but if one of them's a liar, is lying, God is not there. It says that's why the minute is that after they hear the, the positions of claims of each one of the defendants, they send them out, and then the judges they discuss them themselves and they give the verdict. Because as long as the defendants are there, the Shechina is not there. The Shechina only comes only after the defendants leave, because one is a chakra, one's lying. 
So that's what he says. He says, if you have a Besdin where they have to he, they have to discuss it among themselves, then he send them out. So by sending out the defendants, Elohim needs of that care. But if you adjudicate it yourself, you don't send them out because everything's within your own mind. So Elohim is not here. Therefore, you're doing the wrong thing. This was, this was Yisro's criticism to Moshe Rabbeinu. Ephraim, you heard it? I don't know if you heard the CD. Yeah, but it was on the CD this last week. B'tzedek Tishbun HaMisecho. It's also B'tzedek. Just as the court, we said, Elohim needs a vaskel. You have to give the person the benefit of doubt. For you to have a, the, the status of the Bezdin, you have to give your fellow the benefit of doubt. The person that the Shekhin is not with me has no relevance to Torah. To be able to advance in Torah, you have to have Siyat HaDishmaya. So without the Siyat HaDishmaya, you don't advance. Therefore, it's Machri Lekav That if a person Machri Lekav Shkus, then he has relevance to the Shekhin. If you have relevance to the Shekhin, then we speak about a capacity to acquire Torah, to be continued. What? No, it's the same. What's it? You're talking to going to the going or what I'm saying? What I'm saying, what the... Hmm? It's the same puzzle, but Tzedek Tish, but I'm in Secho. The Gemara learns from here. I mean, I, I once said something, you know, based on a Medrash. Kodesh Baruch Hu says, in Yish, Din Lamata, in Din Lamala. Remember, he said this. There's human justice, there's no divine justice. It, it even go, So, so that, that's the best thing. No, wait, wait. But even though it's Tzedek Tish, but I'm in Secho. If you give your fellow the benefit of the doubt, that's 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 be God will, will, will allow it, it that he's not, there's not going to be divine justice. So you see, it's within the same context. We're using the similar yardstick over here. What if you give the benefit of the doubt? But let's say based on. You shouldn't have. No, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Then, then, then it's wrong. No, it's wrong. That is perverting it. Benefit doubt means when you're supposed to give the benefit of doubt. I mean, there are, there, there's a formula for this. If it's a middle of the road person, it's a 50 50 call, you have an obligation to give him benefit, even if you're wrong. Based on the information you have, you have no right to judge him negatively. Even if you're wrong, because that's what the Torah says. You, you interrogate witnesses and everything works out. You say, well, you never know. What do you mean, never know? You follow the formula, God says, this is it. That's, that's, that's credible evidence. You give the ruling on that. Yeah, but you have to hear the, 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 the evidence. But based on, the ev- based on the, their, their case, the, the way they present to their positions. <laughs> right? Hashem, there's no, there's, there's no question. There's no, there's no, there's no, no, but he charges. Yeah, but, but still, there's always the there's always a kitchen. There's midas adin. There's midas arachim. Right? There's always a way to see it differently. Right? And he sees it through two different lenses. Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Midas arachim. He takes certain things into account. Midas adin doesn't take anything into account. Yes or no? Guilty, innocent. Doesn't take other is- other issues into in, into account. There's no best in based this purely on evidence. Evidence, evidence, evidence. Best in best is Elohim. Is Elohim? Sure. Yeah, but still, but even the, the justice of best in compared to divine, <laughs> that's Rachman. That's Rachman. Person steals. Repay. Repay. You should have your, your hand chopped off. That's Rachman. Right? Person that sins, he should, brings a korban. You should be killed. You should be slaughtered yourself. So even the, the, the justice of Bezdin, persons of Mechal Shabbos, with, with he's 4-1, he's put to death. That's Rachmi, because he has Kapora. That's Rachmi. <laughs> On a monetary case, monetary. If they agree to it, you should encourage Shara. Let's say they don't want to accept Shara. Okay, whatever it is, so that's what they want. Okay.